everyone welcome to easy update um i read about this game on pc gamer it's called the black iris <laughs> it looks weird as hell and i thought of huber immediately so here awesome. we are to play this game and see what awesome. the hell is going on it um, looks like a hurricane yeah like weather weather report on a big hurricane yeah who knows I do know that the um, visuals are really psychedelic, and I think it contains flashing lights. So if that sort of stuff oh, okay. bothers you, uh, viewer at home, please be advised mm -hmm. about that. I think the game will warn us in a second too. But um, I haven't. I just hit play just to test that it was working before. But that's all I've seen. So all right, here we go. You ready? So ready. Maybe. <laughs> I think I. Uh, yeah. Flashing lights. Flashing lights. Whoa. Johnny mnemonic vibes. Arboreta Games. I love the, the visuals already. I'm just like, yeah. What? I have no idea what this game is either. Are we, are we like visual novel? Are we 2D? Are we 3D? Are we first person? Are we tactical? I don't know. Is this a rhythm game? <laughs> Oh, oh god. I guess there's FMV in it. Oh god, we're Blair Witch, dude. I am Yo. so on board right now. I'm already unsettled. Yeah, dude. I'm getting major Friday the 13th vibes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah. Sorry, you can see my volume adjustment. FAO decommissioning agent. In order to revive, receive payment, the tr Dang three it. research stations shown on the map must be decommissioned, and the associated research materials, such as tapes, must be recovered. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know what else it says. That needs a patch. Whoa! Yo, look at this. Dude! I gotta learn how to make games like this. Wazda. T to Yo. toggle torch. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my god, the, the movement is so wild. Take Tab controls. Inventory. Map. Objectives. Okay. Decommission the winch inside the station and collect the research log. Tape. Once, Once these, these stations, stations are decommissioned, the door to the main cave north will unlock. Finally, continue to decommission the equipment in the main cave. Is this the full version of the game, Ian, or is this early yeah, access? Yeah, yeah. And uh, all the proceeds go to, like, a, a charity in Scotland for, um, like, a food bank. Cool. Yeah. So, you don't use the mouse at all. It's just Wazda. No controller support even, I bet. Uh, they said they're working on it. Dear decommissioning engineer, you will have been made aware of your task here. To retrieve all research materials and decommission all research stations, it would be advisable for you to first head to the cabin on the right to see if the researchers left anything behind there. Check the blackboard. They often scrawl down plans, etc. on there. Good luck. The Institute for Divergent Sciences. Awesome. Divergent sciences, dude. Ooh. Dude, fix cameras. Fix cameras. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fix cameras. You're making a comeback. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, 1979. Black Rock Drilling Co. begins drilling. 1980. First drill to reach 20,000 meters begins in, uh, encountering anomalies. Uh -oh. Lights emitting from the boreholes and infrasonic sound. That's 81. Crazy. They abandon the site. Several workers stay behind, and enchanted by the phenomena emitting from the boreholes, they set up camp under the name The Order of the Void. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 83 researchers from the Institute of Divergent Scientists head uh, to investigate the site. 83, after three months, contact with researchers is lost. <laughs> Shit, yeah, dude. As it usually is. As it should be. Oh. Dusty novel, The Seeker of the Serpent's Eye. Under the 
crimson primordial sky surrounded by the jagged black rocks of the ancient volcanic mountain, the wretched warlock reached into the dark embrace of the fissure until his hand touched a smooth glassy surface, cold as ice. His fist closed around the serpent's eye. Slowly he withdrew it and held it before him in the fading light of the blood-red suns. It glowed from within, a ghostly emerald light, strange and eternal. Classic, classic Resident Evil nod. Oh yeah, uh, like that sucker. I lit the fireplace. Hell yeah. What? What? Something about static on a TV always gets me. Yeah, it's freaky. Update math with last log. Nice. All right. Do we know where we are? Oh, with the cabin. We're there we are. We're in the cabin. So do we want to go to the dish or like to that far right place? Yeah, I don't know. Read note. What you've been asked to do here is far more complex than it will have been conveyed to you by the Institute. You must take great caution. What we have been studying here is unprecedented. I cannot say any more. What I can say is H3, take a lighter. H3. Burn the bodies, dude. Crimson heads. Crimson heads. <laughs> sort of a Stranger Things vibe. Yeah. You know, like they're up to, up to no good in their research facility. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, this is quite a fixed <laughs> camera angle here. <laughs> I see you trying to... There we go. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Excerpt from anomalistic human behavior. You read this one. Northeast Scotland of Armillo is set up in the cabin, set up in the cabin and are heading out to the old research stations tomorrow. Eva and Erksine are heading to the oil fields. Bellamy is checking comms in the dish and I've arranged a meeting with someone from the order, so I'll be heading west to the church. I hope they're willing to talk to me. It's going to be a huge waste of time, money, and sat sanity if they don't want to open up to an outsider. So that's Strugatsky. Lena, yeah. Lena is an outsider. And they mention Bellamy and Erskine. Bellamy's at the dish, dude. We should go to the dish. The dish. Yeah, and she went to the Church of the Order of the Void. And E. Nile. She's out in the boonies. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Holy God. Salat. While drilling into the earth, the engineers were overcome by an incomprehensible and inexplicable aura. On arrival to the base outside of Aberdeen, Scotland, the on-duty physician described the engineers as a shell of their former selves, an almost blank slate. Uh, that reminds me of Resident Evil. A shadow of his former self. Uh, a number of causes... Me, yeah. A number of causes have been considered, from the prevailing theory of radiation sickness from the exposed granite to the more obscure theories that claim there were some form of organic material within the rock that may have had an effect on the engineers. Oh boy. So, something. Magic rocks. Magic rocks. Some kind of hypnosis. Squad. Some kind of telekinetic. Tele no, telepathic. So you want to go to the dish? Let's go to the dish. Or this building right in front of us looks very sure striking. We, I don't know if we can get to the dish. This building gives me oldest house vibes, dude. Research station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we probably have to go to the research first and yeah, open, up, that open up some paths. camera angle is so claustrophobic. Yeah. Whoa. Shit's so cool. I love, I, like, I know it's kind of a novelty, but just making brand new games in the style of old games. Yeah. It's so cool. This is some Silent Hill camera <laughs> action right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh upside down. Do not enter without a helmet. Yo, dude. We put on a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
can be equipped or unequipped. This game is a mood. Yeah. Such a mood. Alright, so I don't even know if that was the research station. Mm -hmm. Is this the research station? Oh, alright. Find a replacement AE-35 unit. Okay. Watch videotape. Whoa, oh dude. Oh god. Oh god. Dr. Thomas Erskine. Erskine. It's some tissue that's been exposed to rock Yeah, Yo, last one. Cordyceps. In a few minutes, it's breaking through the cell wall within two hours. It's almost totally taken over and begins multiplying, constantly expanding, looking for a source of nourishment. This is sick. This is so cool. Christ. After three days, disturbing any semblance of what the cells were are gone. The organism, if you can call it that, <laughs> has entirely invaded the host. Sketch. <laughs> so sketch. Sick. So parasitic organism yeah. with some kind of telepathic abilities is one of my leading theory. Eric Sign, he left the A35 unit in the control tower of the dish again. Please stop leaving this crap lying around. I'm not gonna cover for you again. Yeah. Bellamy. Bellamy's the hothead. Mm -hmm. The hothead of the group. Yeah. It's so unsettling in this kind of stuff where you can't look up. Yeah. Because you're just like, I want to look up. Oh, cool. Look at the compass in the bottom corner. Oh, that is nice. Hey, what's that to your left? Is that a dead body? That looks like a person. Oh, they hung themselves? Oh, they've got oh, stuff coming geez. out of them. Yo, I just got shivers. Lena again. A number of the engineers have become enamored with the caves run under the earth here. Lots of them talk of the black iris, which appears to be a source of ionizing radiation deep in the cave. It appears that it, it, appears that it can induce what I would compare to a religious experience in these people. Some uh, unitologists giving me dead space vibes. Oh, is that what it's? <laughs> the unitologist. So this could be the control tower right here. Mm. And I think the dish is right through there. Let's see what's up here. Oh my god, I didn't even see that Ian. This wacky looking structure that this person like hung themselves from or forgot tossed off. Yeah, or yeah. It looked almost impaled in a way. Whoa. Obtain tapes to use trans transmitter? Pick up hey. a thirty five unit. Nice, that's what we needed. So we'll need tapes. Then we, we like transmit the, a signal. We have the central tape. Oh, uh, okay, so we need them all. I guess, yeah. Whoa. Good soundtrack. Good amb yeah. ambient stuff. You get the soundtrack when you buy the game. <laughs> That's excellent. Should I use this AE-35 device? Oh, heck yeah. We've got it. 100%. Okay. Let's see how this shakes out. Oh, you already oh. did the central station? I've decommissioned the central station. Nice. First one's a freebie. Yeah. Just to show you the ropes. Alright. We already got yeah. this tape. There's something on that wall next to the door. I think that was a note. Got Central it. zone done. Okay. Yeah, it was the Yeah, it's a note that we read. Pissed off Bellamy. Yeah. Alright, let's go toward the dish. Which, in theory, should be through this big door. There's something about these giant walls that they mm -hmm. 
cordoned off these areas with. Very imposing. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Whoa. Open area. The order of the flight. Feels like Mandy, dude. So we're gonna watch it. Ugh. Alien to pop out. Well, yeah, I wonder. Looks like there's a cabin of some kind. Like a very traditional gray alien with big black eyes. <laughs> Who would be yeah. not out of place? Hey, Lena, it's Bellamy. I accidentally left the last part of your manuscript in the lockbox around the back of the cave entrance. I'll go back and get it tonight if I get time, but if you're near there, the code is 8709. First code. I like that we knocked over the... Oh, dude, look at that. Glue, blue pulsing. This is very Mandy as well. This is sick. So wait, is this the church then? I guess so. So awesome. This game is fun to look at. Yeah, it's wild looking. Surveillance, dude. Human sacrifice. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, what? Whoa! They, <laughs> did they sacrifice her? It looked like the, the parasite was coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Freaky. Found some text lying around the church that have some alarming yet interesting contents. The Order of the Void sacrifice humans to the Black Iris. They believe it appears and therefore leaves them alone. Appeases uh, it. Appeases it and therefore leaves them alone. I don't know how old these texts are or how recently they have indulged in this act. However, I do know that now this isn't just an issue of anthropology anymore. Jeez Louise. It seems like they did it to her. Mm -hmm. So what do we need to find to decommish this? Do not touch, please. This winch has been decommissioned so that I can more thoroughly investigate what the Order have done to this station and the purpose it serves in their religion. That means you, er Erskine. No vulturing parts from here. Ah, oh, we get credit we for that. Awesome. That looks so awesome. Holy moly. Yeah, it's all bugaboo. It didn't used to be all bugaboo. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yo, what? Offering to the Black Iris obtained? What? A sculpture carved out of obsidian. It appears to be some kind of religious offering. Was that a bonus item? Did, were you supposed to find that? I, I, that was so <laughs> weird. It doesn't seem like I had a choice, but... Okay, so if this is the church, where's the dish? Yeah. Might have been back through here, or... Yeah, it must be. Could you go left at the, this door up here? Yeah, like... Kinda... Like over here? Yeah, yeah, is there any way to go? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's an invisible wall there. Mm -hmm. Wondering if I can go over here? Yeah, maybe it was back in the hub, and instead of going left, go straight. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, yeah. It seems like each area is, like, one thing. Yeah. An 
awesome game. This is wild. <laughs> it's really cool. Central. So we've already done the central and the, the thing. So yeah, if we go east, we we'll just keep going straight. Yeah. To, uh, awesome. Maybe this is a very short game. Mm-hmm. Walking with a purpose. Yeah. Do you think Sam Lake has played this? I hope so, dude. Me too. Seems like it'd be right in his wheelhouse. Yeah. Abandoned shacks. Copy of Roadside Picnic by Arkaday and Boris. Same last name as the... In some sense, we're all cavemen. We can't imagine anything more frightening than a ghost or a vampire. But the violation of the principle of causality that's actually much scarier than a whole herd of ghosts or Rubenstein's monsters, or is that Wallenstein? Frankenstein. Huh. Hmm. Huh. on topside after my first dive into the cave. It looks like the door to the deepest chamber needs some kind of key. Well, not a key, but there's a gap in the rock that looks like something needs to be placed in it to open the chamber. I think the order might have what we need. Let's start there. Probably the so thing I, you picked up. I think that's the thing we picked up. Shacks, dude. Valheim vibes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Everything has Valheim vibes for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Black Rock Oil Fit. I love these tiles. I love these tiles. Yeah. This is so you. <laughs> these oh, yeah. things. It's very, yeah. I very think of you <laughs> powerfully when I see that. <laughs> I love stuff like that. <laughs> Ooh, I hate these kind of oil things. They're so creepy looking. If they were in water, I think I'd have an an aneurysm. Yeah. What'd you say? Give me the blood, Lord. Give me the blood, Lord. <laughs> In a plain view. Yeah, dude. Hey, Eva, this is Bellamy. I just wanted to update you on last night. Erickson has been down in the main borehole all night, way over his four-hour-a-day limit. Some of the guys are worried the radiation is going to make him sick. It isn't as if we haven't constantly been warning him of the dangers. <gasps> He's losing it. It's getting sucked in. Timber storage. Awesome. This is oil, dude. Walking the oil. This looks like a forest fire waiting to happen. Yeah. Oh boy. Whoa. Lena, I'm about to investigate the cabins in the oil field. I found some strange readings on the tapes the other day and I wanted to check it out. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Good luck with the church. Remember, if things turn bad, stash everything at H3. Eva. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, what? Dude, what? I'm controlling this. What the? And the, the, the controls are reversed. What the? Oil field zone tape reversed. found. <laughs> this is bonkers. Really cool. Who says you need $300 million to make a video game? 
No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's Not so weird how, that. like, stuff distorts as you get closer to it, too. Oh, this is the last one, Ian. Of the three, yeah. Nice. Oh, the dish was definitely where we found... I think that was Lena hanging from the thing. So we found Eve and Lena. Uh, but where is Bellamy? So we've decommissioned probably. all three, but we haven't gone through that center area. Nice, time to go north. Yep. What's that purple thing? Over yeah, there? I was like, is that there before? Purple rock, I guess. Let's give us killer atmosphere. Yeah. Great mood. Love the rain. Really adds something. Yeah. So yeah, we found everyone. Think. Well, I don't know. Wait. I don't know what the hell is going on. This way seems correct. We haven't been here yet. Mm -hmm. Whoa! God. What's it gonna say? The black iris. Uh oh. Yeah, this dude, this has big Mandy slash Beyond the Black Rainbow vibes. Cosmic horror. Cosmic horror, bro. Cosmic horror. Sarcophagus. You bet Ian's gonna open it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you gotta confront the void. This shit's sick. This is awesome. Audiovisual just all around. Yeah. Someone's behind that pillar. Ian, check it out. Okay. You got to. Nope, just another way. Shit, get lost in here, dude. Don't get lost. Oh, there is something nice. Oh, there's a note. Okay. Sweet. A being of unimaginable horrors erupted forth, a conduit for extraordinary forces from beyond, with no conception of order and entropy, mind and matter, life and death, logic, science, or any other attempt to understand a being of such capri ca capriciousness. capriciousness and cosmic indifference is futile, yet they reached into the abyss of blackness before them and brought this abomination on themselves. <laughs> What's capriciousness? Um, it means like, I mean, I usually think of it as like tricky, like. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense in the context, right? Kind of like precocious, but let's let's look it up and make sure. Give to the su give to sudden and unaccountable changes of mood. Or behavior. Yeah, yeah, okay. so quick quick to change. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright. Alright, that seems like the the end the end game, so let's Yep. Yep. Okay, good. Gotta have a dead end. This is a really cool looking cave, and I don't often say that. <laughs> Offering to oh the God. black iris. Is that the oh. black iris? Just sure. sitting there? Oh. Oh. Just walks right into it. Yo. Uh, here come those tentacles. Are we dead? Or are we finally alive?
Is that the Earth? <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna ask you that. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess we woke it up. Do we beat it? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Sick, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh. Yo, this music. We we destroyed the world, Ian. Or did we save it? Finally. We woke it up. We 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 brought awareness to the world. Dude, this music is sick. Yeah, it's a bop. It's you. Soundtrack available. I did not expect I like that it was like a little short half hour experience. I loved it. Yeah. Little short film style. Yeah. What a blast, reminds me dude. reminds me of a short film one that would yeah. end with like a what the f <laughs> type yeah. Yeah. ending. We're just like oh all right. <laughs> It'd be cool if this was. I love when they do this shit, shit like this, Ian. Where if uh -huh. this was a prologue oh, to yeah. like a bigger game, like if this yeah. kept fire, like having a full on sequel. I love that kind of stuff for sure. Yeah. Cool game. Very cool. Well. I guess we just did a full playthrough, turns out. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Huber. Thanks, yeah, everyone. Thank Sorry we destroyed the planet Earth. Uh, bye.